Hey guys, welcome to part one in my silicone mermaid top series. What I'm going to do today is show you the first stage of that process. You're going to need what I'm showing you here, which is some air dry terracotta clay, plaster Paris, something to mix the plaster of Paris in and with, something to measure it with, some wax paper, a mask to wear while you're mixing your plaster of Paris, and something to pour your plaster of Paris in. So the first step is to take your terracotta clay and mold what you want your silicone piece to look like at the end. I am shaping a seashell, so I'm using a seashell decoration from my wedding. So I'm just going to take this clay and mold it until I'm happy with how it looks as a seashell. So um, the wax paper kind of helps you um, it allows you to move your clay back and forth without um, damaging it. I do that a lot with my polymer clay crafts and things also. And um, the clay is not going to dry out unless you leave it for a really long time in the open air. If you have to start this project and you get interrupted and have to stop, you can take a wet towel and just kind of get it a little bit damp and you can lay that over your work until you're able to come back and finish it and it'll still be nice and um, malleable. So I'm just kind of like smoothing it out with my thumb and making sure there's no visible lines um, or creases or anything of that nature. And then I'm gonna take the seashell and use the back of the seashell to rub on to my clay to give it a nice seashell pattern and texture. I've got a little, I think it's a, like an old dental tool. I found it at a thrift store and I use it for a lot of my clay um, crafts. It's pretty handy. It also comes in handy with my vinyl stuff to um, like weed out the little pieces in vinyl. So that thing has been like invaluable. If you ever see one, snatch it up. They are super handy. Um, that's like a starfish that I made. You got a glimpse of that for a second. And now is time to take your container for your mold and you want to take your clay. I'm doing this backwards, but um, I'm not going to add the water until I'm actually ready to mix the plaster. So I'm going to take the clay and put that in the mold. I kind of messed up here and got a slightly smaller container than I should have. And there was kind of like a little, um, a little moat, a river of space underneath the seashell. So I kind of had to push it down into those cracks to make sure no, like a lot of plaster didn't run under there. And so when you're mixing your plaster, this one specifically said three parts plaster to one part water. Um, but that seemed a little thin to me when I mixed it out. Um, normally when I'm mixing plaster, it's gonna have the consistency of like a waffle batter a um, little bit thicker than pancakes. So I just kept adding more plaster until I got that consistency. Once you get the consistency, whoa, hang on. I'm like really fast at stirring plaster. Do you guys see how fast I'm moving? Anyways, okay, back to work. Once you get the consistency of the plaster that you want, you're gonna start pouring that into your mold. Now, the trick to this is to be sure to pour from one spot in your mold and then just allow the plaster to go all over your clay and your mold. And that's supposed to help with like lines and cracks and stuff. I don't know, maybe it just makes it look fancier. They say to do that, that's what I do. And it works out for me. So I think you should do it that way. So this plaster says it takes about 45 minutes to set. So now you know what the game is. It's the waiting game. We'll be back here in about 45 minutes and you guys get to check it out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Okay, we're back and we're gonna pop this out of the mold. Oh my gosh, yes, some plaster went underneath the clay. That's not the end of the world. Don't cry. It'll be okay. Just um, start gently working your clay out of the mold. My handy dandy dental tool always helps me with that. You want to be extra careful that you're not digging into your mold because you can gouge it and damage it if you are too aggressive. So I just kind of gently coax it out like it's a little snake coming out of a basket and um, you know once you play the right tune it just pops its little head right out. So then I'm going to go around the mold and break off all the little 
pieces of plaster that um, just need to come off to give it a nice smooth finish. And then I'm going to get all the little bits and chunks of clay out. It looks great. It looks like it picked up all of the detail from the clay in the original shell, so I'm super happy about that. Um, I would recommend making two of these, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So you can actually do this with pretty much any cosplay. Um, anything that your heart desires, you can make it out of silicone. So the next step would be to get an old toothbrush. If you don't save your old toothbrushes, you need to start because they come in mega handy for crafting projects and you need one now. So look at that beauty, grab an old toothbrush, not your current one, and meet me in the bathroom. Okay, I got my toothbrush and we're just gonna add some water and gently, very, very gently, we're going to scrub the clay out of the mold. And then that's it. You just let that baby air dry and then you're ready for silicone. So the next step will be silicone and coloring and all of that good stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I will leave links in the description below for all of the tools I used, except this toothbrush. You can't have it. It's mine. Get your own. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and you are all mer amazing.